Hi guys! This is part 2 of my mini-series about my planner setups and tools I use for outdoor sketching. In the first video I was talking about my main watercolor travel kit. If you missed it, definitely check it out, I will leave a link in the description. Today I'm going to share with you an even more compact version of my watercolor setup that I use for painting in museums, as well as two mini kits that I take with me for quick ink sketches. Before we start, I would like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel for speed paints videos and more videos about my artist journey. Let's start with my reduced watercolor kit. Here in St. Petersburg, the weather is not really planner friendly starting from about November till May, so basically half of the year I am not really able to paint outside. In this case, it's a great idea to practice quick sketching outside of the comfort of your home studio by going to sketching museums. Not all of the museums are sketches friendly, but the ones that are will still prefer you to be very compact with your setup and not to get in the way of other visitors. So I had to figure out how to minimize my watercolor sketching kit so it is suitable for a museum environment, but also is still providing me with all the tools for comfortable sketching. First of all, my portable watercolor palette. I use this little tin box that holds 15 half pans of paint, which is far more than enough for quick sketches. And then I use this lid as a mixing tray. Sometimes I would use an even smaller tin box like this one. It holds 12 half pans, which again is quite enough. On to my pens and brushes. I use this Pentel water brush, which is really good for quick sketches and for compact setups like this one. I also take this little pipette with me to easily refill the water brush when I'm running out of water. Then I have my Lamy fountain pen that I use for my line work. I fill it in with waterproof ink suitable for fountain pens so it doesn't get dissolved when I apply my watercolor washes on top. And finally, a white gel pen for some finishing details and highlights. This one is a jelly roll by Sakura. Then I have a spray bottle with me which actually serves several purposes. I use it to reactivate my paints. Then I also use this water to refill my water brush when needed. And also it holds the water to wash off the paints from my brush. Now you can absolutely use this brush without washing it in a water cup. You would just squeeze it a bit and clean off the paint with a cloth. But I prefer to have a tiny water cup with me. I use this metal container for oil solvent. It is actually perfect for me, it is quite small, it has a clip at the bottom so I can easily attach it to my pad and it has a leak proof lid. Obviously, in museums you don't have many possibilities to get rid of the dirty water. But with this thing you can just close it up after you're done sketching and safely get it to the bathroom to wash it. Then I have a couple of cloths for my brushes and a Ziploc bag to put wet and dirty cloth after the sketching. And of course there's also a paper clip. In this setup I use this regular clipboard as a pad. I have also attached a couple of adhesive magnets to hold my palette in place. And then of course I would take some pieces of watercolor paper. Now let's take a look at how all these tools work together. I would clip my paper like this, then I would attach my palette and mixing tray, a water cup and a cloth. And there you go, a super compact sketching setup that works both horizontally and vertically. And here are some photos of the setup in the fields for your inspiration. Sometimes I know I won't have time to do watercolor sketching. Then I take with me some more compact sketching kits that you can basically take anywhere with you to be ready to sketch at any time. One of the options is this. I have these tiny sketchbooks by Art Creation by Royal Talents with nice 140 gram paper. I think many brands have similar sketchbooks. They are perfect for really quick sketches. I'm using them with a fountain pen with water soluble ink and a water brush. The pen I use is this disposable V-pen by Pilot with blue ink. I use this pen to do the line work and then I go in with a water brush to make the ink flow in certain places, creating these cute monochromatic sketches. Normally the water in the brush would be enough for many tiny sketches, but just in case I would take with me a pipette and a small bottle of water. Now let me show you some of the sketches I made with this kit.
And then another option I like to use is this kit here. I have this nice square sketchbook by Lithuanian brand SMLT. And I sketch in it with my Lamy fountain pen and an Ecoline brush pen for shading. This is great for very quick and minimalistic sketches like these ones. Now, you don't obviously need to use these tools specifically like this, it's just what I do. The main idea is to have a small size sketchbook and a couple of drawing tools with you that don't take a lot of space and allow you to sketch anywhere you go. Okay, thank you for watching and this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little overview of my sketching kits. Don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram to see more frequent updates on my creative journey. Bye!